Dana Frederick White Jr., born July 28, 1969, is an American businessman who is the CEO and president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, a global mixed martial arts organization. He is also the owner of Power Slap, a slap fighting promotion. In August 2019, White's net worth was estimated at $500 million. Early life and education White was born in Manchester, Connecticut, to June and Dana White Sr. on July 28, 1969. He is an Irish American. White spent many of his early years residing in Ware, Massachusetts. White and his sister, Kelly, were raised by their mother and her family for the majority of their childhoods. White's mother was a nurse, and the family moved to Las Vegas when White was in third grade, as Vegas offered higher wages for nurses. White attended Bishop Gorman High School, where he first met Lorenzo Fertitta, although they did not become close friends until years later. White said he disliked school and got kicked out of Gorman twice. Despite living in Nevada, the Whites returned to the East Coast in the summers to spend time with White's grandparents in Levant, Maine, a small town near Bangor. White spent his senior year of high school in Maine. After graduating from Herman High School in 1987, White started college twice, once at Quincy College and once at UMass Boston, but dropped out during his first semester each time. During this time, he had various jobs, such as laying asphalt, working as a bouncer at an Irish bar, and being a bellhop at the Boston Harbor Hotel. White had begun boxing at age 17 and befriended former Golden Gloves champion Peter Welch. Through this relationship, White decided he wanted to enter the fight business, and he started a boxing gym in Boston with Welch. White initially intended to become a professional boxer himself, but was put off by the idea after seeing a punch-drunk boxer and worrying that he would suffer the same neurodegeneration. White then worked as a boxer-sized coach. White has stated he left Boston to return to Las Vegas in the early 1990s after being threatened by mobster Whitey Bulger and his associate Kevin Weeks. He basically said, you owe us money. It was like $2,500, which was like $25,000 to me back then, and I didn't pay him. This went on for a while and one day I was at my place and I got a call and they said, you owe us the money tomorrow by one o'clock. I literally hung up the phone, picked up the phone and called Delta and bought a ticket to Vegas. In Las Vegas, White continued running boxer-sized gyms and also began training jiu-jitsu under the tutelage of John Lewis, a competitor in UFC 22 and UFC 28, alongside Lorenzo Fertitta and his older brother Frank Fertitta III. White had reconnected with the Fertitta brothers after meeting Lorenzo at a mutual friend's wedding. They had not spoken to each other in 10 years prior to this encounter. It was in Lewis practices where White met mixed martial artists Tito Ortiz and Chuck. Liddell and ultimately became their manager. Career Ultimate Fighting Championship While working as a manager for Ortiz and Liddell, White met Bob Marowitz, the owner of Semaphore Entertainment Group, the then-parent company of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. When White learned that Marowitz was looking to sell the UFC, he contacted childhood friend Lorenzo Fertitta, an executive and co-founder of Station Casinos, and former commissioner of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, to ask if he would be interested in acquiring the company. In January 2001, Lorenzo and his older brother Frank acquired the UFC for $2 million, which subsequently became a subsidiary of Zufa. White was installed as the company's president. White said that when he and the Fertitas acquired the UFC, all they received was the brand name UFC and an old octagon. The previous owners had stripped the company's assets to avoid bankruptcy, so much so that the UFC com website had been sold to a company named User Friendly Computers. Over time, with White as president, the UFC developed into a highly successful business, and its gross revenue was $600 million in 2015. In July 2016, Zufa was sold to a consortium of investors led by WMEIMG for $4.025 billion. White owned 9% of the company at the time of the sale. White continued in his role as president and was given a stake in the new business, White, center, with UFC fighters Jose Aldo, left, and Conor McGregor, 2015 in a now-famous street interview with TMZ Sports in 2011, Dana White responded never ever to the question, when will we see women in the UFC? 
He would later reverse this decision in February 2013 when Ronda Rousey faced Liz Carmouche in the first women's UFC bout. In May 2017, the UFC announced White would host Dana White's Contender Series. Available exclusively through UFC Fight Pass, the promotion's digital streaming service, and licensed separately from the UFC brand, the show allows up-and-coming fighters the chance to showcase their talents in hopes that one day they may compete in the UFC. On March 18, 2019, White signed a new, seven-year contract to remain president of the UFC, as the UFC signed a deal with ESPN. On April 3, 2023, Endeavor, renamed from WMAMG, announced a deal that would see professional wrestling company WWE merge with UFC to form a new public company. White will now serve as the chief executive officer of the UFC. Boxing White entered the boxing scene by co-promoting Floyd Mayweather Jr. vs. Conor McGregor due to McGregor being contracted to the UFC. In October 2017, White said at Freddie Roach's Wild Card West Boxing Club that he was getting into boxing, 100%. White said in 2019 that he wanted to incorporate boxing into the company portfolio of the UFC. He has since backpedaled on these plans, stating in 2022 that boxing promotion is a broken business that is an absolute nightmare to try to fix. Other ventures White is the owner of Power Slap a slap fighting competition that debuted in January 2023 and was previously televised on TBS. In 2022, White became a co-owner of Thrill One Sports and Entertainment which owns the properties of Nitro. Circus, Nitro Cross, and Street League Skateboarding, Personal Life White met his wife and, nay Stella, when they were in the 8th grade, and they married in 1996. They have two sons and one daughter. White bought a mansion in Pine Island Court, Las Vegas, in 2006 from Frankfurt Tita III for $1.95 million. White bought three other mansions in the same area from October 2016 to June 2017 for a combined total of around $6.2 million. Demolition permits were issued for the houses, presumably with the intent of creating a mega mansion for White and his family. White was raised as a Catholic and was an altar boy when he was a kid, but he now considers himself to be an atheist and doesn't believe in an afterlife. In 2011, White's mother, June, released the book Dana White, King of MMA, an unauthorized biography. June claimed in the book that, since his success with the UFC, Dana had turned his back on his family and friends who were there for him when he needed help and support. Hobbies and interests White is a fan of the Beastie Boys, Red Hot Chili Peppers and Rage Against the Machine. Speaking on the passing of Adam Yach, White said, I seriously haven't been impacted by a death in a long time like I was with the Beastie Boys. White also has a hand-signed guitar by all three members of the Beastie Boys in his office. Alongside a copy of the Beastie Boys book on the desk, White has been a fan of the New England Patriots since childhood, and he has stated that he is an admirer of the former Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. White said in a 2022 interview alongside Rob Gronkowski that he had worked to negotiate a deal which would have brought Brady and Gronkowski to the Las Vegas Raiders in 2020, but John Gruden nixed the deal and the duo instead signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. White started taking Brazilian jiu-jitsu classes in 1998. It had a positive impact on him and made him realize the importance of having ground skills in fighting situations, in a season 15 episode of History Channel's Pawn Stars. Originally airing on February 5, 2018, White purchased around $60,000 worth of katana swords, including one of Rick Harrison's 17th-century Japanese katana. White is a recreational gambler. He plays high-stakes blackjack and has been limited from playing at multiple casinos in Las Vegas. He states he plays $75,000 a hand, and if he wins the first couple of hands, he takes the $150,000 profit and leaves. White also gambles on sports. He stated in 2021 that the biggest sports bet he had placed was in 2007, when he wagered $1 million on Jermaine Taylor to beat Kelly Pavlik. Taylor lost the bout by technical knockout, and White said about the experience, I was in Cabo, relaxing having fun. That ruined my fun. Ruined my whole trip. Health issues in May 2012, White revealed that he had been diagnosed with Meniere's disease, an inner ear disorder. He said, it's like vertigo but on steroids. 
White said that the disease was brought on because of a large fight he was involved in during his youth. The UFC on Fuel TV 3, Korean Zombie vs. Pori event was the first he had missed in 11 years with White staying home, adhering to medical advice. White underwent orthokine treatment for Meniere's disease, which he says has greatly reduced his symptoms. In 2022, White stated he had undergone medical testing and was diagnosed with extremely high triglyceride levels and other irregularities. He was given 10.4 years left to live if he did not rectify the problems. White said that since then he has adhered to a ketogenic diet, which he says has remedied his sleep apnea and alleviated his leg pain. Altercation with his wife during a 2022 New Year's Eve party at a nightclub in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, White and his wife and were filmed arguing and then getting into a physical altercation with each other and slapped White and White responded by slapping her back. They both apologized for their actions and said they had consumed too much alcohol that night. The UFC did not respond or address White's actions after the incident. The California Legislative Women's Caucus sent a letter to Ari Emanuel, CEO of Endeavor, the company that owns the UFC, requesting White be removed from his role in the UFC. Politics White spoke at the 2016 Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio, where he endorsed Republican nominee Donald Trump. White said that Trump helped the UFC at its beginnings, allowing the UFC to host its first event under Zufa ownership, UFC 30, at the Trump Taj Mahal when other venues refused to host the UFC, White said, no arenas wanted us. This guy reached out, and he's always been a friend to me. White reiterated his support for Trump for the 2020 election and spoke at the podium at a Trump re-election rally in Colorado. In February 2020, White donated $1 million to America First Action, a super political action committee that supported Trump's re-election. In April 2020, White joined a group of industry leaders to help the United States rebuild its economy hit by the coronavirus pandemic. Charity work in 2010, White donated $50,000 for a liver transplant to Tuptim Jadnolium. The daughter of Kru Nairan Nachai, one of the instructors for Tiger Muay Thai and MMA in Phuket, Thailand, in 2011, White donated $100,000 to his former high school to fund renovations to their athletic facilities. In 2017, White donated $1 million to the victims of the Las Vegas shooting. In 2019, after UFC 242, Khabib Nurmagomedov raised $100,000 for Dustin Poirier's charity, the Good Fight Foundation, White followed and also donated $100,000 to Poirier's charity foundation. Awards Armed Forces Foundation Patriot Award, 2009, World MMA Awards Leading Man of the Year, 2008-23, Wrestling Observer Newsletter Promoter of the Year, 2005-13, 2015-16, Other Accomplishments Nevada Sportsman of the Year, 2009.